Hey everyone, it's Matt with iSimulate, excited to unbox your new Reality360 kit. Once you've got the kit, let's go ahead and slice that box open and get started. While you're getting ready and getting things out, please make sure you locate your welcome letter, which was emailed to you by your sales rep or our shipping team. This is going to have important information for use later in this process. Once you get your kit out of the box, Let's go ahead and open the bag and take a look at some of the pieces and parts that are included in the kit. There may be some variation depending on the modules and options you've ordered, but we'll try and cover the majority of them here in this video. Once you open the kit, you'll notice there are a whole bunch of different pieces and parts inside. Let's go step by step as we open the bag. On the top flap of the carry case, there are a couple of storage pockets which are going to include a lot of the equipment you're going to need for setup including your router, wires, power hub. Let's go ahead and take out the USB hub, the router, the power wires for the router, power adapters, and such. Set them to the side and we'll get back to those in just a minute. And the other top storage kit are simulation leads, which we'll use later in the process. These leads include your pediatric and adult blood pressure cuff, some ECG wires, SpO2, temp sensor probe, all for use during simulation. On the top of your box, you'll notice that you have a reference guide included inside and a QR code, which was just shown. In the front of the pouch, there are some ECG electrodes, defib pads for simulation, all of which will get put into the kit a little bit later. As we take the monitor out, we can set the carry case aside for the moment. And inside of that case is already mounted your 12.9 inch iPad. The back cover opens with the flap to access additional storage, including your control iPad, a battery backup, and some additional wires and leads. On the side cases include additional simulation leads, which we'll install later. There's a small back pocket which you can use for storage, and at this point we're ready to power everything up. Since we already took out the contents of this pocket, hopefully they're set to the side in a neat and organized fashion, we're going to go ahead and find the power lead, the USB hub, and its power supply, and plug it all in so that we can power up the router and get started. To power the router, simply match the USB-C plug to the router and plug the USB hub into an AC wall outlet. You can also power the router off of the supplied battery power supply and, if necessary, plug your monitor or iPad into the USB hub within the case to keep that charged. To power on the monitor, there's a small switch on the left side of the case as you're facing the iPad, which you'll press and hold until the Apple screen shows up. Power on the control iPad using the button on the top right of the control iPad, again until the Apple icon shows up. After we've powered everything on, we're going to connect them to an internet connection so we can begin to create our iCloud account and log into our license. First step on both iPads, you'll need to connect to an internet connection where you can access the World Wide Web. This may be your home or office network. Once connected, the iPad will prompt you or you'll need to tap on the top left corner to create an Apple ID. 
we recommend you create a unique Apple ID for your training organization and not use your personal information on these devices. This Apple ID can be shared across multiple devices if you have multiple iSimulate units. Please make sure to write down your birthday, passwords, and other question answers as we are not able to access this information. An email address will be generated unique for your iCloud account, but we also recommend using a backup email address and sharing that with your group so that if necessary to reset your iCloud account, you're able to do so. You may opt in or out of two-factor authentication as you feel appropriate. The system will guide you through the remainder of the steps for setting up your iCloud account. Once complete, you'll accept the terms and conditions, and then we'll move to the final steps of setting up your reality system. Once your iCloud account is set up, we'll go ahead and close the settings menu and navigate on the iPad to the App Store. After opening the App Store, you'll have to accept the terms and conditions, go to the search bar, and search for iSimulate. You'll see Reality 360 pop up on the window. Select it, download it, and on your other iPads in your kit, you will also repeat this process. However, rather than creating a new iCloud account, you will simply log into the iCloud account we've just connected, downloading reality on each iPad. Once reality is downloaded, you'll open the app. It will ask you to name the device which we recommend being the color station and monitor or color station control, color station chart, color station camera if you're using those optional devices. This will help identify each iPad by name within the Reality app and ecosystem. How to claim a license for Reality 360. First, open the app on your monitor iPad, the larger 12.9. Navigate to the community icon at the top of the screen. Enter the username and password that you received in your welcome letter or contact your sales associate if you need help with locating this. Once you've signed into the community, you will see an opening screen that will allow you to navigate to the top of the screen and select the licensing button. Once you click on the licensing button, you should see an available license to claim. Click Claim. Match the color station that's been assigned to your unit. Navigate to the Settings menu by swiping up from the bottom of the iPad and opening the Settings menu. Go to General, About, and then place your finger over the serial number. Select Copy once it appears. Swipe up from the bottom of the screen, navigate back to reality, place your finger in the spot for the serial number, and paste the serial number in. Click on License Current Device, and you will receive a confirmation email your device has been provisioned. Once this is complete, you can exit. Scanning the QR code on the back cover of the case will bring you to our knowledge site which contains instructions for use of Reality360. You can also view other videos on our YouTube channel, iSimulate Education. You can choose to place the simulation leads in any compartment on the monitor case that you choose. By following the directions on the supplied insert, you can connect lead sets into the case on both sides. Simply pop the clamp into the center of the compartment, select the lead wires that you want to be placed, set the distal end of the wires into the little teeth on the side of the clamp, 
And once they're all set in, you can replace the clamp clip into the case to hold the wires taut. Thanks for taking the time to view this unboxing video. If you have additional questions or need some more help with your simulation, please don't hesitate to email us at education.isimulate.com. Stay safe and keep simming.